Okay, magandang araw ulit. Ito na yung pangatlong video ko about sa mga shortcut. So, tapos ko na yung multiplying 50 by any number. Okay. Now, ito na yung sinasabi ko. Multiplying 25 by a number which is divisible by 4. Mentally. Okay, so magagamit mo na naman ito sa mga contest. So, umpisa natin. Ano ba yung mga number which is divisible by 4? So, ano may parang multiples of 4? So, 4, okay, 8, 12, 16, and so on. So, that are the multiples of 4. So, if you multiply these multiples of 4 into a number which is 25, there is a shortcut. So, example number 1. So, 25 times 8 is equal to 200. Okay, let's check. Baka mamaya mali. Okay, 25 times 8 is equal to 40. Very 4. 8 times so 16 times 4. A plus 4 is 200. So check. So what is the shortcut in multiplying 25 by a number which is divisible by 4? Mentally, you divide the multiplier by 4 okay? and add two zeros. So, parang dun sa 50, dun sa 50 divided by 2 or get the 1 half. Dito, divided by 4 or get the 1 fourth. So, 8 divided by 4 is 2 and add two zeros is 2. 200. So, napakadali. Pero, dapat alam nyo na multiples of 4. So, another example para makita nyo. So, 25 times 16. So, divided by 4. So, that is 4 add 2 zeros. So, the answer is 400. So, ganun lang kadali. Okay. Uh, pwede mong gamitin sa mga uh, is, uh, sa M-top question doon sa easy round walang 15 seconds tapos okay. application parehas doon sa rectangle if the length okay, is 25 cm and the width is 16 cm what is the area of the rectangle so ganon 25 times 16, 400. So, the area is length times width. And our length is 25 cm times 16 cm. So, shortcut, 16 divided by 4 is 4. Add two zeros. So, 400 cm square. So, that is our length. Uh, area. So, ganun lang napakadali. So, isama rin natin yung natutunan natin ngayon. When multiplying 25 by a number which is divisible by 4 mentally, anong gagawin? Divide the multiplier by 4 and add two zeros. So, yan yung pangalo nating video. Sa susunod, meron na naman akong i-upload na video, mga techniques marami yan, so pag may kakilala kayo na uh, nahihirapan sa mat uh, i-subscribe nyo lang ako para malaman nyo yung mga iba't ibang technique until next time, salamat